accidents happen. Welcome back to Crime Fighting 101 with Caroline Dunn. Love is a burning thing. On this episode, we will learn about the Lexington Fire Department. There are 23 fire stations in Lexington, Kentucky. The Lexington, Kentucky Fire Department proudly serves its nearly 300,000 citizens and protects 285 square miles of Fayette County. Lorene and I visited fire station number one, located on East 3rd Street. This fire station houses the most response units of any fire station in the city. Major Nance gave us a tour of the station and did a great job of educating us on the Lexington Division of Fire and Emergency Services. All of the staff eats, sleeps, and lives in the fire stations. Our lifesavers need a good night's sleep, and they sure do get one. Tempur-Pedic donated all of their mattresses. And if you're wondering if firefighters still slide down fire poles when responding to a call, they do. In Lexington, there are 523 sworn firefighters and EMTs that serves nearly 300,000 citizens. Lexington firefighters' main mission is to help save lives and to protect the property of citizens. Besides fighting fires, firefighters also respond to medical emergencies, respond to hazardous materials, rescue citizens and animals, extricate accident victims, educate the public to prevent fires, and they investigate fires. I'm sure you've seen all kinds of fire trucks and EMT vehicles, and you probably wonder, what's the difference? Well, there are all kinds of different fire apparatus. There are engine companies, ladder companies, specialized apparatus, emergency care units, and district and command units. Each apparatus serves a purpose, and let me tell you, these puppies aren't cheap. After our tour, we decided that we wanted to put ourselves in the firefighter's shoes. Literally. We put on all the gear that our lifesavers must wear. And I'm not gonna lie, Lorena and I started to get a little hot in all those layers. I want to give a special thanks to all of our Lexington lifesavers. You do a great job. Well, that's all for this episode. Stay safe, crime fighters.